We always had some interest in the supercomputing end of things. And our first real expedition into it was with Caltech and the hypercube architecture they had developed that eventually became the Touchstone Delta. It represents successful cooperation between government, academia, and industry. Everybody was sure there were applications just waiting to uh, take advantage of the performance. Oh, and as the performance increases, the range of problems that could be addressed continues to grow. I could see the performance was going to continue to increase for quite a while. And it's amazing to me that we still are able to make the advances in performance from one generation to the next. There are a myriad of places where better models will improve our ability to do things. We're generating huge data sets in a lot of different areas and it requires capability of supercomputers to really handle them. This really enables a third way of doing science. For years we had to look at experiments and theories, but the theories could only handle relatively simple cases. But with the advent of high-performance computing now, very much more complex problems can be tackled in a useful way. I look at some of the things that have done, uh, for example, modeling the formation of galaxies. These are things that just couldn't have been done without the high-performance computing capability. And I think we're going to find things like that across most of the areas of science.